Hello, this is Victor bringing here a new review to a White Dwarf and this time we're going to have White Dwarf 175 so it arrived very late to me it just arrived uh, yesterday afternoon and yeah, I know it's almost two months late that it arrived to me and we are going to make our review, sorry for that uh, yeah, I cannot do anything when they uh, deliver it that late, the White Dwarfs so what we have in this issue 475 so yeah, we start, well, this is the content, so, okay, we are going to start as well as usual with the mm, yeah, pictures from, from readers, okay, letters from the readers, we have some nice words here, I like a lot how this is done, I, did, I think all of them are quite good, I like this, the look of these Necrons, okay, and yeah, here we have some Caradon and the Miharis purifiers and this is cons this is the now the model of this month it's really I looks like a brush model very nice very thin layers uh, very smooth so and then you have very thin edge highlighting here and there so it's really a uh, excellent job that we have here and then we have this spotlight and I think this is a very dark and thematic gothic army so it's really nice, I like a lot this one I think maybe this is my favorite here but all of this is very thematic very interesting uh, paint job so really looking great and it's by Joseph Wildy and we have Walls of Warhammer where the they explore the relationship between space marines and the grey shields okay again some background fluff and we have uh, then they start with uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar this time instead of starting with 40k they start with Age of Sigmar okay so different order normally they will they were starting with 40k now they start with Age of Sigmar um, yeah. Here we see um, some Caradon, so they are going to talk about the Tom Celestian Caradon Overlords. Okay, the blood, the blood will spoil. It's some back and realm escapes, background. Um, yeah, the Tom Celestial. Again, more uh, the, Tom, all these Tom Celestials they start with some background. Okay, and then we have the rules, the new rules for the Caradon. Okay, these are updates for the Caradon. We have here the Arcanaut Admiral War Scroll, so they have modified this one. And then we have for match play we have new core battalions. I like that they have played these core battalions with with ships. And then we have new Path of Glory rules for them. Then we have this Flashpoint class that is Fortune and Glory. Okay, it's okay. We have an introduction. It's a campaign, so that you play with. Yeah, it's, it's um, the thing to play with Karen against another one, another enemies. Okay, you can see there is a, a see here a scenario that is the final one, I guess. Fate of the good server. I don't know. It's the last one. But I like this, this short campaign, make those three battles. This is always interesting. Some paint splatter. Then we have rules engagement, and this time they talk about the campaign that the, the campaign that he is running. Okay, so they are giving here some some ideas for campaign and then you have what in Carcass Don's campaign rules so here you have the, all the campaign rules for the world okay again I always find super interesting that they, they put this uh, I don't have the opportunity to play them I would love to play some of these campaigns I think the, the uh, this is for me this is the, the best is to play campaigns to see how your army is evolving and to yeah just to rank one battle with each other I think for me it's the ideal situation as I say, I'm more of a, a, a thematic player than an artist player than really a competitive player. 
So then we have some Warcry here and new scenarios for Warcry. Okay. Can you see one new scenarios, new campaigns for Warcry. Glory points. This is interesting. They talk about the rivals um, decks. They have uh, the Salem Menons, uh, the Illusory Might, and then this is super interesting to me. They create a new um, rivals. Uh, deck that is called the Maze Breachers. So, and and to talk a little bit about this this type of decks, you have are not working for every warband. So you have to really look how is the deck is constructed. And some warbands are fit for these decks, and some warbands are not fit for these decks. I just played recently Illusory Might with the uh, Skitter Nash. Uh, Skitter Natch um, Cloud Pack, the, the Ashing Skaven, and yeah, it, it worked quite well, so I was quite happy. Then we go to Warhammer 40,000. What we have in Warhammer 40,000? So, first, uh, they talk about yeah, the meaningful choice in war games. So, the, what are the choices that you do for war games and what you choose or how you play it? Uh, the Acts of the Wardens, so Flashpoint. This uh, the rules of the admiral. So in case you need these rules for later on, then here we have as well for the what's called this the aeronautic imperialis. Okay, so we have here some um, introduction to Flashpoint Nightmoon. So more about Nightmoon. Okay, what is going on on this on this uh, zone of war? The different chapters that are involved in this war in Nightmoon, uh, and then we have here. Yeah, the test of faith, right? So it's a, uh, a yeah, new new rules for uh, for crusade. Okay, so if you play crusade, you can play in this part. And then we have here servants of the dark master. So these are match play legal. Okay, so these are new rules for match play. Uh, the, the Corvax and Disip Disciples of Belacor. So it's a new match. It's a new match play rules to join the House Corvax and Disciples of Belacor as one army. I guess. More about Flashpoint Nightmoon. Okay, more. There's a lot of background here. There's a lot of reading. If you want to know what is going on, then we have the Heretic Zealots. And this is going to be like a little bit of showcase and what you can do, how you can paint renegades. So this really start preparing the people for when the uh, Chaos Codex is out. You can see uh, a lot of different miniatures converted into Chaos. Okay. This is one of the Warcry Warbands. These are the Nighthound. Really interesting ideas here. You have really interesting ideas. Okay, you can see nice, nice conversions and paint jobs. The tale of the four warlords again. They're going to play a super big, a uh, big battle that is going to be the battle report of this mod. So you have all these against all these. Okay, so Necrons and orcs against uh, Imperium, right? Space Marines and other personas. Huge armies playing once against each other. You can see here this is a lot of references, so it's really a super big battle. And I will show you a little bit more, but I don't want to uh, spoil the end result. You can see, and then each player is getting points. And I will go to the end. I will. So this is all the battle report. Okay, so I will not show it. So you can, uh, I don't show you what is the end result. Uh, then we have some heavy metal, some brush tips. Here you can see this is a really a piece of art. I, for me, it's incredible how they, how he did a realistic egg. Um, some of uh, a little bit of aeronautic imperialis. To be fair, I have new rules. I don't know exactly what it's about. I'm not into aeronautic imperialis. Middle Earth, I'm not in Middle Earth neither. 
So here I cannot tell you what is there. And then we have the black library as usual at the end of the white dwarf. Okay, and with that we finish the white dwarf as usual. Black library is the, normally the last article before going inside the studio where they share us what the people in the studio is doing. Okay. Some of the paint jobs they do. So this is more like a hobbyist. And yeah, and the next will be with head nights of Slanish updates. So this is White Dwarf 175. Sorry that I'm so late. Uh, yeah, I cannot do anything if they give me the, the White Dwarf. The White Dwarf arrives so late to me. So that's all for now. So I hope you have enjoyed this short video showing the White Dwarf. Uh, in case you are interested, you know what is now the context. So that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.